Bobby is a, a great artist, and I think Bobby knows that harmonicas are my favorite thing. I have a harmonica here that is signed by a couple of people that we all know. It's signed by Junior Wells, Charlie Musselwhite, and Lee Oscar. And happy birthday, my friend. Now you got to play a little bit. I got two presents. Oh yeah, Bobby got a uh, uh, a concert ukulele for his birthday yesterday, and he said he's going to play it on his next album. So, but uh, Bobby, I'm going to just give you the harp, uh, the microphone, and let you talk. Wow. I don't know where to start from, but I can say thank all of you for coming. As you saw on the film, I was born in a little place called Homer, Louisiana. I left in 1947. Went to Pine Bluff, Arkansas with my father for many years. In early 50s, I moved to Chicago, and I stayed there for 40 some odd years. Now I'm in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm still a country boy. But I want to thank a young lady that uh, Stuck by me through thick and thin, still having catching hell with me. I want to find a way to get some trophies with an S to give her for sticking by my side. So that's my wife. And Bobby Rush is really blessed to have Bertha. Yeah, she is. Uh, she's blessed too. <laughs> no, I, I said that when we've been together. Fits, I won't tell her years, but we over fifty years. <laughs> I remember quickly. I'm so blessed to have another friend who did wrote to Memphis with me. He's my dear friend. The gentleman who's Come to be my friend. Rob, would you just, just wave your hand? Yeah. Who did the road to Memphis? I said that because so incidentally, he, so he's here today, but I, you encouraged me to do this, that what you all did for me, the road to Memphis. And you put a lot of people to know who I was who did not know who I was. Thank you again. I can never thank you enough for what you've done to be a friendship. Because I remember. Some good things, some bad things, but the bad don't ever, ever come up to the pot with the good. I remember the club we were talking about when my wife was 17, 18 years old. We both were young and good looking then. <laughs> we was playing this club that my wife would come pick me up and she couldn't come in this club. Swing club. Because they didn't allow, it said, uh, Color not allowed, but I played them. My wife had to stand in the back room and wait on me till I come out. That same year, but a few years before that, we worked at the Apex Club, myself and uh, Muddy Waters, J.B. Lenoir. They had a ring in the floor. We had to stand in this ring. They had a curtain that pulled in front of us. We sung all night long. They wanted to hear our music, but not see our face. Those are some of the things. But look how far we have come. And we're so thankful that, that we are educated ourselves and graduated to another level. We haven't come as far we like to come, but we're so far from where we used to be, we're so thankful for which we came. Thank you all for letting me be myself. Now, I want to say this is important here now, because when you see the girls on the state dancing, I want you to know that. I don't plan to ever quit that. I have never said that. Because listen, because you understand that where I come from, in the little uh, club where my, we met my wife, was a club called a Brick. This is what we was doing. This is a black club. The ladies were dipping snuff, had the dresses flying up. I remember the dresses flying up. 
<laughs> but I'm not saying that's then all I can do, but it's part of entertainment. It's part of entertainment. Someone asked me, Sir Barbara Rush, I'm gonna play a little bit for you. If y'all don't, I'm, I'm gonna vote. Someone asked me, so why do you sing the blues because your wife left you? Well, you can have the blues if she leaves, but you can also have the blues if she stay too long. <laughs> I guess the worst thing that ever happened to me is this I put in the song, but I can't put all the good things that ever happened to me because there have been so many good things. But here's one of the bad things that happened to me, and I got over that. This. Have you ever been mistreated by someone you showed enough love? Have you ever been mistreated by someone you showed enough love? Out of all the men, my woman could have left me far. She left me for the garbage man. <laughs> no matter how bad she treated me, you know I still can't get a loving out of my mind. No matter how bad she treated me, you know I still can't get a good loving out of my mind. Every time I see a garbage can, I think about her and the damn garbage man all the time. If I ever get on a comeback home, I'm going to buy myself a garbage truck. If I get my woman to come back, I'm gonna buy myself a big old garbage truck. When my garbage can't get full, I'm gonna take it and dump it out in the woods. 